knee high is one of my favorite drinks. Knee high Greek. I've been drinking 60 years, off and on. How about them bologna sandwiches? You like them I, too? I love them. I love them. <laughs> I reckon a waitress has something to do with it, you know. <laughs> she makes them. Hey everybody, welcome back to Pretty's General Store. It's uh, it's great to be back with y'all again. Haven't uh, yeah. talked to you or seen you guys since February and we're excited to have the Appalachian Channel back here with, with John and Jody. And of course my good old friends here with me, Wayne, he's always, you can always count on Wayne to come by, you know, a couple of times a day. And uh, it's been crazy since, um, since John was here before. We've been very blessed and uh, had to get some extra help. And, I'm just glad I'm standing here today and a few more gray hairs in the old head there, but God is good and we've been blessed and uh, we just look forward to taking you back through and kind of seeing how things, we were here in winter before, now it's the summertime. Bye guys, good to see y'all. And uh, got a few new things in the store and uh, just, it's just exciting and uh, like I said, we're here at summertime, we're kind of ending out with summer, so it's nice to have you guys with us in the warm months. So. What do you think, Wayne? What's been going oh, it's on? It's wonderful to be back here at the prettiest store. You know, father worked on my chainsaw years ago. In fact, daddy bought one from my daddy years ago. Uh, He's a fine that? guy. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes people might be able to talk me out of some things that I Maybe. cling to a little Just tightly man. around yeah. here. That yeah. it's part of my childhood and what I'm used oh, yeah. to seeing. And yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the other one like that, I had a... A, uh, they were uh, Asian. I think it was from Japan. Maybe Okinawa. Okinawa. They had a vintage shop down there, and they were just traveling all over the place to find vintage stuff. And I understand in Asia, whatever denim is like, really, they really go crazy <laughs> over it. I had one of those left, and I had no intentions of selling it. And they offered me such a price for it, I couldn't accept the price because I thought it was too much. But I'm like, what good is it really doing here? I said, I still know that Colin's got the yeah, one, yeah, yeah. and if so, he ever gets rid of it, it'll come back to me. So I bless them with letting yeah. them take that back yeah. to their shop. And they bought some of the old shoes that we had, you know, that was back from the 70s. And it's a vintage shop in, in Japan. And they came the here? Mm -hmm. yeah. They just, I guess they just travel around different places to find things to take back to their, their shop. Tracks you know, it was it was incredible. Yeah. Now, what, what's the story about the, the coat? You had them here for sale? No. Well, it was this was a brand that was sold in the store at one time. What brand know, is it? N and W. And look, it says it's it's um, San Sanferized San denim. denim. Yeah. And then they made overalls too. But this, I had, there was just yeah. two that lingered here. You know, after they became, you know, more bigger better things everybody thought so those were just left behind yeah. she had two, and hang, had two of them two hanging on her wall identical and i was always hanging around here every every summer in high school and i and one day i don't know why i did it i slipped this jacket on just kind of like, <laughs> like oh oh this thing fits because i'm obsessed with everything vintage and you know i gotta have my hands on it so i went up there and i said jane this is a crazy question but uh would you ever consider selling that jacket and sure enough I guess either I'm crazy or she's crazy or both of us are crazy. But. What was it, just on display, not for sale? or? It was, there's a, a rack kind of hanging back there in the bag that had a few, I mean, stuff just gets placed and then, okay. then it's there and you kind of forget about it in here. But it was just, just things that, you know, I just hold on to everything. I'm like my dad, you know, he grew up in the depression. He never threw anything away and now I'm just like him. I just don't want to get rid of anything. But So how long ago was that you was in high school? What were we talking about? Uh, well, I graduated in 2016. I know I'm not too much of an old timer, but... Uh, <laughs> Seven, eight years then. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. But uh, I was just recently coming back to visit and uh, Jane just told me to come on up here, hang out today, so I did. And, his mom's one of my best friends. We played basketball together in high school. Yeah. And uh, Colin went off to, he's, he's acting. Yeah. He did a one-man show, James Dean, and, and opened the arts place up over at Stokes. We're real proud of him. He's been a tweet, I've been a cowboy up at Tweetsie in Bowen Rock, North Carolina. He's, he's, he's a great, great guy. And he's been out, he just got back from Fort Worth, Texas, at, acting out there. And now he's just, he's on his new journey, just finding his way. Yeah. Well, how about yeah. that? 
Well, now it's it's my turn to brag on you. No, no, Jane, no, no, no. Uh, Jane over here. No, no, Jane. Jane is like my second mother. She really is. Um, I I've hung out in here so many summers, um, and I always tell everybody, anybody who comes in here, any anytime I'm traveling, I talk about pretties. I always say, don't Jane, make, don't make me cry at the very oh, beginning. Well, no, Jane is the closest thing you're ever going to find to a real life Mayberry character. Because everybody who walks in this store, she always says howdy, asks them where they're from, wants to talk to them, gets to know them. Uh, she is the the little literal personification of, of Southern hospitality. One time, I was sitting back here, and I was I was. She made me a bologna sandwich, and I was sitting back here, and I had this this family walked in, and they came in and said, "Hey, Jane, we got ourselves a hog we just killed. Uh, can we uh, cut it up there on your machine back there?" And she goes to that old 1940s meat cutting machine back there, cuts up a hog they just killed, and then she says, "All right, bless you. Have a good day." Like you can't. You can't find that that anywhere. Well, well, let's right. let, let's reel back. It's not fresh meat. It was cured. Don't get me in well, trouble. It's, it's, <laughs> I was doing helping helping a friend out, so don't get me in trouble. So like, but but it was <laughs> but it was it was real though. You know, I mean they they it was it was in the moment and it was real and uh, you can't really find anything like a lot of places try to emulate that. But I think the the point is is that it's real and it's still a general store and it's it's what it is. You know. Well, I think the beauty of it is, is what you used to see back in the day when everybody come together in the community when, you know, Joe out here had a problem, you know, everybody kind of pitched in to help out and, uh, and, and again, the community was just there, you're there to help each other out. Just yeah. like that day you showed up and I, we're under construction here and fresh lumber back there that <laughs> Mr. Hedgecock brought up here. And, Gave me a warning it don't need to be rained on and a storm was approaching yeah. and we didn't I didn't even know it and I'm sitting here and and uh, with another friend of ours I'm like is it getting ready to rain outside well long story short two of the guys that's working on the bridge on there big strong guys walk in she's like you think they could help us this man unloaded unbelievable amounts of lumber back there that need to be covered up and they were I was like hey how about free stuff for you today let's go out back I need some help <laughs> and we got it all in you showed up in the process of it and we got it all covered up in the, in the basement and no rain got on it and as soon as it got covered up the drops of rain started falling and then we were just like my friend was like this is just beautiful this is just beautiful <laughs> yeah. he was like God just showed up when we needed him you yeah. know it's like and that's that's the community and that's what we want to keep alive here yeah is that we care about each other and you know there's always somebody here to help it seems like I've ha I had a lady call me one time she's like Jane is there anybody down there that can come up here and got a black snake in my house and this was a lady that used to work for our store Lois Pretty so it was a gentleman in here and I had already seen how you can catch a black snake and, and get it out of a house. Oh, so, yeah. So my mom was living there, and she was able to run the show while we went up the road and got that black snake out of her house and took it down the road and let it out. So that's kind of, again, general store, general knowledge, general help. I don't know. General contractor. I don't know. It's general like, community. General contractor of yeah. life. I don't know. It's like, but that's the beauty of the place. And I've been so blessed here with just people showing up say let me lend a hand and I'm getting better about accepting it well. <laughs> this is our former uh, rescue captain this is Vance he was hey. former uh, town council with me and everything great friend of mine you talking about somebody in, in your community that you're blessed to have in your community it's people like Vance and his family and his father-in-law was the fire chief for many many years so that again is people like Vance that makes our community special no it's it's the truth we're just so blessed we are so blessed all right my help put my glasses on here yeah, I know it's $2.99 oh it is $7.99 five more dollars as good as I got five all right $12.79 what are you guys up to today? Oh, uh, it's Prime. Prime and tobacco? Still first Prime? Uh, last born. First Prime. All right. So this is 13, 14, 15, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. All right. Oh, you don't need a bag. All right. Well, stay cool today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. Thank y'all. Nice, nice to meet y'all.
So I've been talking to Wayne here. He's a local that comes around. We filmed him last time and he had his uh, Bel Air here, his 55 Bel Air, but I did not realize that he had got this in 1957 from his dad. He gave it to you when you was in high school. So 17 years old. 17 years old. So you've had it uh, 60, 67. 67 years. The same vehicle. <laughs> you got Uncle Sal there in the front seat from Duck yeah. Dynasty. Yeah. You got you some uh, die cast back here. It's your riding partner, right? My riding partner. You have to have somebody. Women won't ride with me. Oh. Women won't ride with you. So what other cars? You said you had some other cars. What else you got? Well, I got one sixty-six Chevrolet. Daddy bought it June the tenth, eighteen sixty-six, and I got. A 67 Chevrolet bought it new, the only new car I ever bought. And I got a, another 67 Chevrolet white convertible, the other one's a red convertible, and then I got a green four-door sedan Bel Air. Got a small 88 Monte Carlo. An 88 Monte Carlo. Black, gray inside. I bought it in 89, had 4,000 miles on it. It's got about 110 on it now. I paid $413.67 four years for that car. And so you know how much I got in it. Paid that every month on it, monthly payment? Yeah, monthly payments, yeah. yeah. Four years. Right. Them first ones wasn't bad, but them last ones was rough. <laughs> Got quite a great story there that you've had that that long. Had it since high school. Yeah, That's yes amazing. sir. Yeah. Seems like it ain't been that long. Time flies. Time flies. How old are you now? You told us a minute ago. 83. 83. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun, right? <laughs> well, you don't, not necessarily having fun, you know. But we've had some good days. I've been blessed. Some good days. You like that dance, that flat foot dancing, don't you? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Well, the doctor told me, what, 15 years ago. If I hadn't been dancing, you know, I'd probably been so I couldn't walk. Yeah, how about Talk that? about rheumatism, I mean, you know, arthritis. I have a little arthritis. All right, tell us your name. Uh, Colin Anderson. Colin Anderson. So, you've been coming here since you was in high school? Yes, sir. Who brought you here the first time? Well, I kind of, uh, I brought myself in a lot, but when I was a kid, um, my grandma and uh, my family used to stop by here occasionally and, and come in here and, you know, buy some stuff, talk with Jane. And Jane always went to my church growing up, and uh, I always knew her kids. I went to school with them. Um, but I don't think I really understood um, just kind of how much magic this place had until I was older, until I came in here. It was one summer, summer break in high school. I, I came in here just because I, I remember coming here as a kid, but I didn't really remember it. And, and I remember catching up with Jane and just getting to know how how magical it was and how how much of a, a caring person she was. Um, she really is, like I said, she's like the embodiment of, of the South, is what I always say, because she is the embodiment of Southern hospitality. She'll always, uh, every time you come in, she'll always ask you where you're from, say howdy. I want you to uh, talk about your story, your life. Uh, I always say she's she's a real life uh, Mayberry character, real life Andy Griffith Show character. Um, she really is. Um, a lot of lot of good memories in here um, and I think a lot of the times if I ever feel them down if I ever really don't know where to go or uh, what to do I always come in here sit on the front porch out there talk with Jane uh, enjoy my little uh, coke and peanuts or <laughs> you know maybe grab a nab or something and, and sit there and just talk and uh, it means a lot grab a what a nap a nap yeah you come to the store and take a nap huh? a, a nab a no, you ever had a nab a what a nab a nab? Yeah. yeah. What's a nab? You it's got a, me on that one. I gotta go get you a nab. Okay. So this right here, this is a nab. Now I know it says Lance Toast Chi on it, but I can assure you with 100% certainty that this is a nab. And there are going to be many other people out there that do agree with me. Now I don't know why they're called nabs, but my grandma and everybody else always calls these nabs around here. I even went up there just now and I said, hey Jane, where's the nabs at? there so um if anybody ever asks around here we call them naps don't know why that's a new term for me 
That's Have you heard that term before too? That's the only thing from the time I was a baby. They've always been called naps. Well, how about that? Yeah. That must be a North Carolina thing because I've never heard that in Tennessee. I've always lived in North Carolina. It's always been a nab. How about always that? been a nab. There's a nab, there's a way, right? <laughs> how about that? I thought you said you are taking a nap. I could take a nap in here. I probably did take a nap a few <laughs> times in here. It gets so nice and calm in here sometimes. The uh, world just kind of seems to stop in here. I think that's really one thing to take away from it. And as soon as you walk in the door, and that's what I like to say is like, a lot of other places in, in this world, um, a lot of our old general stores, I feel like they try to emulate this, but this is about as real as you can get. It really is. From the hospitality to just coming in to grab something you need, farmers grabbing their seed in here, uh, uh, somebody coming in to grab an old pair of overalls, you know, or somebody just visiting to come see what the place is about, you know. It's, it's what it's about, and Jane's there to deliver and talk. I mean, she's up there talking to some people right now, asking them, asking about where they've been and where they're from and where they're going, so. Oh yeah, that's something I noticed here in North Carolina, a lot of, some of the other stores are, the, what's your plans for the rest of the day or what's something? Your, what, what's your plans for the rest of the day? Where are you going? Yeah, where are you going? Yeah. yeah, I've noticed that other people say that. Oh so. yeah, some people say they're going to go down to the holler, you know, you're down, going down to the woods later. Maybe they're going hunting, maybe they're doing something like that. Uh, but um, yeah, no, it's it's always good. Some people come in here for leisure. Some people come in here for work. It's part of their their daily lives, their livelihood. So I think that's one thing to really appreciate about it. And places like this are are kind of like the lifeblood of of what makes where we live so special. And it's kind of hard to, to talk about that or explain that in a weird way. Uh, in a weird way, it's almost like this kind of is our our culture in a in a strange way, I guess. Um, so it seems like uh, you said you was how old you told me earlier, 28? I was 25. You're 25, 25 right now? 25. Okay. So it seems like you like the old, the old time ways. You got you got your 50s hairdo <laughs> there and your, your jean jacket. and yeah, uh, Maybe a little bit on the nose, you know, just a tiny bit. But uh, I've always appreciated the, the, the old, old things. I've always, always, it's kind of always been the way I've dressed since, since high school. When I was in high school, they used to, my nickname used to be T-Bird sometimes, so... <laughs> Um, I've kind of embraced it, I guess, and um, and Jane and, and her old old school way and, and the vibe of this place is just great to, to hang around and just just be around. So so it helps. Well, I'm glad you came out today. It's good meeting you. Well, it's good meeting you. Maybe thanks. we'll see you next time we come around. Yeah, thanks for everything you do. It means a lot. Yeah. And a drinking bar. This reminds me of my grandmother. I love these things. I do too. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to set me one up on my top shelf up there. They work good. Mm -hmm. All right, 3134. Have y'all had any of her salsa before? No, she's, she's a local girl that makes this. It's awesome. I bought the pickle. Salsa. I know they're good. Yes. Real good. Uh, 3134 is your total. And y'all are from Salon. Salon, what's going Put a pilot mount and show. You can come back out and visit with us today. I love it here. Mm -hmm. Y'all go back there and sit uh, down and enjoy your snack with us. Y'all want the loaded one? Bologna yeah, cheese, tomato, onion, things. or how do you want it? Um, she wants mayonnaise, tomato, salt, and pepper. Okay. I want the same thing, but with lettuce, no cheese. We, we, All right, so man, okay, I don't have any lettuce. All of that's tomatoes. Fine, that's fine. Tomatoes, so, fine. So bologna, tomato, mayonnaise, I'm salt, and pepper. Yep, okay. that'll work. Easy enough. We got the good old Duke's mayonnaise over here. Yeah, that's what. Uh, <laughs> now, is that made in North Carolina? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. No, it's Richmond, Virginia. Oh, you know, you like that even better, don't you? Well, I don't well, know. Well, let me see. It's, it's, I, maybe it's Sawyer, it's Sawyer Brands. It's Sawyer Brands, but Duke's Mayonnaise could have started out. Family recipe since 1917. I don't know if Sawyer took it over and uh, distributed it now, if it started here in North Carolina, but I know we got a Duke's Mayonnaise... Uh, football thing that they do at the Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte, North Carolina. They started that a few years ago. So, Jody mentioned something about everybody likes it in North Carolina, so. It is good mayonnaise, and I think that's really what makes, you know, our sandwiches. It adds the final touch on it, so to speak. 
And Brian Baloney is a North Carolina brand Baloney. Uh, but Sarah Lee owns the Brian label now. I had to do some research since we sold so much bologna. I wanted a North Carolina brand bologna, and they said that this was the flavor of the South, and that's what it says right there. Yeah. We're going to do this on country white or honey wheat? Uh, just a burrito. Okay. I guess. Let me see. That's uh, honey wheat. I don't know. Let's just go with the regular. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I did wash my hands before I do this. I don't wear those gloves. I don't know what's on those gloves. <laughs> she did go wash her hands. Yes. I know that. A lot of people. And our old hickory butcher. A lot of here. people, when we're watching people do food, they'll wash their hands, but we don't film that. And they're like, well, she they didn't wash their hands. And I'm like, well, we don't film people wash their hands. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> so That's right. They, they assume things they didn't see, you know. That's right. So. That we're going to put on there came out of Wayne's garden. Wayne brought this to me a few days ago. This is a, one of my favorite tomatoes. It's a Cherokee purple. And it's an heirloom tomato. I love heirloom tomatoes that haven't been in a lab and they've man's messed with them. This is God's creation right here with no man, you know, intervention. If, yeah, Wayne, I'm using your tomato that you brought me on their sandwiches. Yeah, cherokee purple. Yeah, it's perfect. This is one of my favorites too. And you did say a little salt and pepper, right? Yes, uh-huh. Yeah. So I guess your family's been selling these bologna sandwiches ever since the store probably opened, huh? As far as I can remember, yeah. You know, Grandma, I mean, they didn't even have a refrigeration back in the day. You know, it's just kind of crazy to think that, you know. And, you know, we always got to cut them in half because, remember, they taste better. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We learned that when we was here last time. So I had a customer just yesterday uh, that got sandwiches, and he saw I cut his friends in half. He says, you don't have to cut mine in half. And I'm like, are you sure? I said, you know, it tastes better. He says, but I like to work up to the good part. I'm like, okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> All right. Gonna eat this now? Uh, yeah, we'll probably I'll probably right. run out to the motor home and eat. I got a drink okay, out there. We'll, we'll just sure. put them on a tab there and we'll yeah. pay you and we'll pay for everything else. Alright, go take a break. Okay, okay, we'll be right back. Awesome. This is our breakfast and lunch. Yeah. What are you doing there? Well, this is something my grandma taught me. Oh, I know she what. used to do R C cola and she used to put peanuts in it. And I thought she was crazy. And then I tried it and it's like a snack and it's like a drink in one. Yeah. And it's great. It's salty. It's sweet. I don't know. It's a little crazy, but a little creative. <laughs> a little good. Hey, guys. I, I want y'all to meet my sister, Joan. She happens to be the, the oldest in the family. But, um, and wisest. She keeps us straight. But this is my sister, Joan. This is my great nephew, Noah, who's been helping me out this summer. So see what you've done to me, John. You, 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 this Appalachian channel comes up mm -hmm. and we get we get blessed. So I had to get some help. So my, my great nephew came in and helped out some. But this is my sister, Joan, and uh, she grew up in here as well. We got a lot of memories a lot in of here. Memories. And we she got to keep it in family. Here, she so. went on. She she helps people by dealing with her pain. She's a nurse practitioner, and uh, she's been a, been a blessing and to a lot of people, and especially our family. I'm an encourager because you do all this, and I'm thankful for that. But I'm out and about. Somebody <laughs> had to do this. <laughs> she comes up she when we stayed. have the picking at pretties and she runs the hillbilly drink stand for now, when is that when you do it's, that um, it's uh, every saturday in october from three to five thirty okay we're gonna be back in october to mount airy lord have mercy so we're coming back to so we're, well, we're let's hope to, and pray for some good weather because well, if it rains yeah. you know it. it's an outdoor event so well, we're the gonna weather's come nice back. we got a yard full out back so oh yeah awesome Busy. So we're we've been shopping today. I said I'm gonna buy some stuff from Jane. I see what what's these pictures right here cost Jane? I like that. So this right here. I didn't see that last time oh, I was here. So this is twenty twenty five ninety nine. So this is by Tony Craig who did the canvas out on the side of the store that 
we saw last mm -hmm. time the big canvas with the Pepsi Cola bottle and Lance crackers. He won a photography contest at the beach with this. And there's a little, it's a sunrise sunset competition. Uh, down in Harker's Island is where he lives, but he has a love for old general stores, and he's actually got a book out. I need to show you that book. I've got you, it I think you it. showed us some books. You don't hey, sell yeah. them, though, do you? No, I need to we're, get some more of those. We're going to try to look those up, and we forgot, so we need to make sure we yeah. get that information today. But he, he loves old general stores. He loves this store about as much as, as our family does. So, uh, and I'm just trying to get him back up here. I'm trying to figure out a way to get Tony back into Stokes County. He'd like to get back, back up here, community. too. I think I'm gonna have to go down there and visit him and coax him in up here. I don't know, maybe we renovate the upstairs and let him live upstairs or something. We put an artist loft upstairs or something. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> no, that would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> did, did you tell us uh, that your grandparents maybe lived upstairs at one time? No, or? it was totally unfinished. unfinished I mean, you know, okay. back in the day, a lot of people Storage. did live upstairs. Uh, yeah. I might one day, whoever knows, I, I walk by and I see that home sweet home Thing that I painted back there on the door and it hit me one day, and I'm like, hmm, is that a sign? <laughs> it might be my home upstairs one day. I don't know. Just take it one day. It's as big as this front part, I guess. And Okay. Did, did you have this air conditioner when it was here before? No, no. This is this furnace was um, was put in in the 50s, the oh. late 50s, but now it's been replaced it, it, right after Dad passed away 24 years ago. I think a year later the furnace went out, so it's been replaced. But Daddy put that in before he and Mom came in here in 1960. So you're standing right where the pot belly stove used to sit, that they would bring coal in from outside and actually burn to keep the store warm. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't remember. It looks brand new, uh, this up here. Yeah, it does. It's shiny. It's, you know, it's, I don't like it. I wanted it put in the basement, but Mama was like, it, let's just put it back where it was. And I just honor Mom. and. If I ever get enough money to afford it, I want this out of here and in the basement. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't like it, so I try to kind of hide it, conceal it, but at least it does keep us fairly warm in the winter time. <laughs> I'm gonna take this and put this in my basket. Awesome. It was well, nice to meet y'all. You gonna stick around a little okay. while today? I'm she has let, errands to run. I have errands. I'm gonna let Noah help out. I did this many, many times as I was growing up. So. All you was here as a kid working some, I guess, huh? Oh, it was, I, we never had to worry about a summer job because Dad always had a job for us. He'd wake us up every morning in the summer. Come, me and Jane both. Come and on to was, work. Come to work. And we'd be out there and we'd, that's when pop bottles, they had people had to bring their bottles back. Yeah, right. And turn them in. Mm -hmm. Or you charged them if they wanted to buy some more pop. So. Right. They would be a mess out there, and we had to sort them. That was our job. <laughs> and it was always good to finish. You come inside one and cool off. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Get get a, get a bonus or a drink for working. That was our pay. <laughs> but it was good. Good memories. It's very nice to meet. Nice meeting you. With, I'm one of the ministers at the local church here. Local yeah. church, yeah. yeah. Tell us uh, tell us your names again. I'm Amy. Amy. And I'm Peter. Peter. Yeah. So, what do you like about old country stores here? You like old, you like pretties? Do we do we do uh, uh, just the, the people and the, uh, I guess and the antiques. You like antiques? Yeah, junk. Junk. Like junk. <laughs> like junk. Yeah, valuable treasures you call them. That's right. Some people call it junk and some people call it treasure. So it just depends yeah. on your state of mind, don't it? It does. It does. Or your wife's state of mind. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you two been married? 23 years. Well, you don't even look that old to be married 23. You yeah. must have got married when you was 10, wasn't you? Uh, and a half. Ten and a half. And a half. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> oh, me. Well, how about that? Well, we uh, we enjoy uh, meeting people that watch our videos yeah. and come out. And uh, glad you just came out today. So you've been to pretty so You've lived in this area for a while? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we uh, we we just uh, we've been here and we've been uh, uh, up at the other place that you did. What is it? Just plain country. Yeah, well, yeah, Miss Kathy, we go there a lot. Um, she's, she sure is a blessing, ain't she? She's a good lady. Uh, we used to bring our kids up here when they were younger. In October, I think it is, they do chicken stews and bluegrass music. and. Where's that at? Why don't right. In the backyard. Oh, here? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. my girls, would we bought them tap shoes and everything. Okay. How about that? Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, we're hoping to come back in October and film them uh, 
doing the, I guess it's bluegrass or whatever. Yep, it is. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. So, uh, the other store you was talking about is that over in the, is it the mass store or the? No, uh, it's the the, the the dry goods. The oh Madison, Madison. over in Madison, yeah. yeah going there Madison dry years. goods, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Madison's a nice little town too, ain't it? Oh, it yeah. is. It is. Madison's yeah. not that far from here, is it? I, I'm a little not not terrible far. About thirty minutes, 30, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I'm a I'm third time we've been in. North Carolina this year, so I, I'm learning a little bit. You That's know? it. Yeah, That's we it. love the people. I love the accent of some of the people got. You know, <laughs> it's a little bit different than Tennessee. And right. Yeah. Uh, so you've been in ministry. You went to college. You said in ten, uh, over in Tennessee in Knoxville. Yeah, Johnson Bible College. But, now yeah. Johnson University. Yeah. Both of us. How long was you there in Knoxville? We were there for four and a half years. Where I was. Yeah. Well, how about that? Mid nineties. Yeah. That's just up to down the road from where we live at in yeah. La Follette, so <clears throat> Knoxville's a pretty good town. Yeah. How long have you guys known Jane at Pretty's? Uh, our kids are nineteen or eighteen and twenty and they were about five and six. Yep. And I think even maybe before that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well about like that. So yeah, we appreciate you coming out today and just wanted to yeah. Get to know you a little bit better and let everybody uh, meet you on on our channel here. And so what we came out today to do is uh, film some of the locals and some of the things going on here in these little country stores before they're all gone. That, yep, they are a dying breed, I think. You know, they stores a general. You got your Dollar General store everywhere, but uh, they're not uh, the same thing when you don't have the owner behind the restaurant. You know, and, you're right. You're and right. That knows you by name and appreciates your business. And, exactly. And, I uh, think uh, from here to our church camp, there's one every seven miles, and our church camps two hours, an hour and a half away. Yeah. The Dollar General stores. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's put a hurt on the the little stores because it's hard to compete with uh, them importing everything from China yeah. and being to be able to buy stuff in bulk. So we try to support the stores and let people know about them so they can come out and visit these places where they're going. One day, they little by little, they're disappearing. Yep, yeah. just You're in right. fact because people, it's hard to, it's hard to make a living with it now. You know, right? I guess so. Yeah. So. Well, guys, I appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks. Well, for, absolutely. Thanks for the interview. Yeah. Where'd y'all go hiking at? We did the Moore's, lot, Moore's Knob Loop that does goes all the way up to the top of the observation tower. and well, It's about what, four and a half. Well, congratulations. Yeah. I wish I was able to do that. I just ain't got it in me no more. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's y'all's names? D. D? Yep. I'm Mariah. Mariah? Yes. And Kara. Kara? Okay. Yes. Y'all been to Pretties, I guess, before... Been coming around here before to yes, the store? we've been here a time or two. Time or two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to see you. I'll come out today. You're going to get you a bologna sandwich or something or a drink? No, we just had lunch up the, up the road here at River Rock. Oh, did you? River yeah. Rock? What's yeah. up there? Um, really good sandwiches. Um, pizza. Pizza? Okay. Pizza. Yeah. yeah, really good stuff. Well, Highly good. recommend. All right. Well, I'll let you go on in. And All right. Good seeing y'all. It's nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, that's, this, this is Vicky's favorite treat. <laughs> Peanut butter delight. Peanut butter fudge. Peanut butter delight. Delight. Oh, okay. Some Peanut. people call them no bake cookies. Okay, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I've never seen them square like that though. That's what got me. They're usually round. They look like yeah. a cookie. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So you like those, huh? Yeah, these are my favorite. And for my uh, great ne nephews and niece and stuff, they love this stuff, so I buy it from them. Too. Oh, yeah? Have yeah. you known Jane for a little while? Oh, yeah. All my life. All your life? Yeah, yeah. our families go way back. She's all right, ain't she? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm okay sometimes. <laughs> She's a good one. She, like, she sees me the best, the worst, whatever, you know. She's still my friend. So, But, yeah, we're like family. We, we could be family for all I know. My great-grandma was a maid. So. Her family's been really good to us here. Like I said, my grandma Prudy and grandpa Prudy was real good friends with, with Spot and his wife. And uh, and then her, her dad and, uh, and I and this family just... It just helped out a lot. Her farming family, uh, David and Lola, you know, were just great people. And uh, they just always was in the community, always helping and supporting us. Whatever we was doing down here, they always wanted to come and support it and be a part of it. And 
Davy's grandkids grew up coming to see Santa Claus here and everything. Yeah. And so her sister and I was in high school together. And so again, it's just keeping those yeah. connections. And and again, like, like I said, she's just like family to me. So but this is my friend Vicky. <laughs> well, Vicky, glad you came by today. I don't feel right being on video. <laughs> We, well, you're just being, you're just talking to us. Yeah. Just talking. Okay. Well, good meeting you, Vicky. Good to meet you. So, um, I have just been so amazed at the outpouring of love and prayers uh, all up and down the East Coast, as far west as San Antonio, Texas. I have got new friends because of the Appalachian Channel and the segment that was ran in February, and. Uh, I, I, I even know some of these people by name and we kind of stay in touch and uh, I just want to mention especially one one young lady her name's Beth and she came down here all the way from uh, let me think Indiana Pennsylvania and she's she's just going through a rough time to the point where she couldn't drive down here and I think it's a five or six hour drive Well, her friend moved down here three years ago and drove all the way to Indiana to pick her up and her friend Amy and brought them down here. She wanted to come to this store because she didn't think that things like this existed anymore and she couldn't believe her what she was seeing and she says I've got to go experience this myself. So Beth really touched me. She said that the video blessed her but her visit blessed me more than she'll ever know. So I've got to meet these people and, uh, you know, we're praying for each other and it's just been a beautiful thing. Uh, so we're thinking about you, Beth. We love you and our prayers are with you and just, just stay in that light, girl. I mean, we've gotten, uh, I've, I've made a little list here. Uh, the names are all over the place, but I made a list here of folks that have reached out to us. Fred and Terry also amazed me. They're up in Taney Town, if I'm pronouncing that. Taney Town, Maryland. They got a box full of jams and jellies from us. And we kind of, you know, still stay in touch a little bit through the Facebook Messenger. Another lady that really touched me was Pam Foss. I spent some time talking to her. She's going through some things. And, you know, again, just we just want to pray for these people. And uh, Mike Christner from Melvin, uh, Michigan. I sent him some hoop cheese. <laughs> <So> <laughs> And uh, he's hoping to make a trip down here in October. But all these people on here uh, that I've talked to and people that just called and just says, you know, we love what's happening there. Just know that you're in our prayers. We're praying for you. And uh, we, we feel it. We love you. And just keep on praying. And we just keep on praying for you. And that has been the most amazing thing. Now, because of that, uh, I, it's been crazy around here, y'all. In my slow time to catch up, it's been like, whoo, I can't been, haven't been able to do a lot of things. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if Rosemary's going to be here or not, but I literally was on my hands and knees that morning and said, Lord, you got to bring me some help. And I'm not easy to accept help. I'm not easy to say, yeah, I need help. That day, Rosemary showed up, whom I've known for probably 15 years. She says, you want me to help you out, run the cash register or something? And I'm just like, I'm not believing this. I said, I just prayed for help and you showed up. And she's been helping me every Thursday. But I don't know if she's coming back or not. But Colin's always, when he's around, always coming in and pitching in and helping well, out. And, you know, I mean, it's you always said that, you know, I'm always like, well, Jane is the heart and soul of this store and, and everything about it. But you, you always said that it's the community. And it's everyone. It's everybody who, who pitches in. And you have a lot of those, those stories, uh, like the time, I mean, there, I remember your sign was, uh, was a little falling apart up there. And we had to go to my grandpa's yeah, old shop, right. and we had to go get a new sign and, and put it up. Or, yep, know. I forgot about that. Um, Thanks for the e Every day you... There's uh, Rosemary. I just mentioned her name. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Come over here, Rosemary. <laughs> Come around back, girl. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's there's so many experiences, and every day you, you come in here, you hang out. Like I said, we were all hanging out back there, John, and they were telling me about the good old days. You know, the old timers always enlightening me. You yeah. know, um, but it's the same way it was years ago, where all the old guys are sitting out there on the front porch with their overalls, hanging out. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know what stories you're going to hear. Um, I know my grandma always used to say 
you know, back then it was more of a rarity to go to the general store and because, you know, times were hard, but she would come here and they'd get themselves an orange and a, and a, a knee-high grape soda, which you still got in the bottles. Wow. And um, she would come in here and I think they used to say some of the feed bags used to have prints on them in here because that was when uh, mm -hmm. it was harder to get clothes so her grandma would make them yeah, dresses like out of them. out of the feed mm -hmm. sacks and they would come here and grab those um, but uh, in a weird way it's kind of not changed it really hasn't it's a good thing yeah, yeah show, show us a little you flaps it in there Wayne's already showed us some go 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 ahead go ahead and give him a little yeah It was it was something neat, wasn't it? Yeah. It's and here and it's a big atmosphere. It's just loaded with yeah. people in here. Every aisle is just people standing. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> yeah. So is this the first time you've been to Pretty's? Yes, this is the first time we've been up this way. Uh, Okay, so you the costume guy. We're just watching you out there and uh, you've uh, been doing it for some years making these costumes. Fiorella Joe. She's beautiful. And she's about, uh, well, she's about a month old in that picture. And there she's about a week old in that picture. And that's my son, John. Nice cute tonight. Nice sweet cute. Really to a leading up to uh, making me. Oh!